It's Chiz Koppel, and I'm watching the Jam interview. Uh, what's your story? Man, my story is it's simple. It's similar to most artists around. You know, I'm just a kid from the struggle, kid from the, from the city. I'm just trying to make a living through this music. That's pretty much it. Uh, we get more into depth with the story. If you get more in tune with the music, you feel me? So um, what kind of um, challenges have you been facing and how you've been overcoming those challenges? Uh, I've been dealing with many challenges, been facing with many obstacles through this course of music, truthfully. You mean like through the music or just like in life in general? It can be through both. Uh, through this music, man, it's just getting getting a, getting a solid fan base, getting everybody around to know my sound and know who Chess Koppel is in life, man. Life is life, you know? When you, when you want to do something and you keep putting your power into that one idea, you feel me? Sometimes you can get discouraged and fall off, but if you got a strong mindset, you can you can follow through with a lot of things. That's pretty much it. Just to, just to stay focused on your task. I say that's the biggest challenge. Well, what kind of tasks are you focused on right now? Um, I'm just focused on getting this music worldwide. You know, becoming becoming a star, becoming a superstar. You know, affecting people's lives, changing many lives. You feel me? Get my mama out of here. Get my family out of here. Make sure we all good. What does changing someone's life look like? Just changing how we living, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna fabricate anything. We broke, like, <laughs> feel me? We not, yeah. we, not, we not rich, I wanna be rich. That's a simple way to put it. I want my family to be rich. I want my mom to start working nine to five. I want my whole family to be good. So um, what have you been kind of, um, what have you been doing to improve yourself as an artist or even improve yourself as a person? Uh, every day just working, man. Every day I've been working, nonstop working, every day. You can ask anybody you know who knows me, nonstop working. I work every day at school, at home. Every day I'm writing. Every day I'm recording if I can. Every day I'm listening to beats. Every day I'm making a new beat, coming up with new content for everybody. You know, that's it, just nonstop working. That's how you're going to get to your goal and your dreams, just nonstop work. Um... What does your, I guess, normal work day look like? A normal work day, like, I'm because because I, I know you do I know you do a lot of I, other things. Yeah, besides I do a lot music. of other things besides music, but it depends. Like, if I'm at school or if I'm back home in the city. Like, if I'm at school, I'm just gonna finish school. Now I'll probably be in my dorm with a couple of the homies, filming me freestyling, get into the beats, get into the freestyles and stuff like that. And then if I'm back in the city, I'm either doing like some photo shoots, I'm doing interviews, I'm recording all that different type of stuff. Just trying to get as much, as much chess cobble out to everybody. You feel me? Because they need to hear. Me. Right, right. Um, so we were talking earlier a little bit about like the Boston music scene, and particularly yeah, yeah, with yeah. hip hop. Yeah. Um, I guess what kind of changes would you want to see? What kind of positive changes you would want to see uh, in terms of the scene? I mean, I just want everybody to come together. Truthfully, I mean, more heads can accomplish one goal faster than just separate people doing different things. You know what I'm saying? Right. Everybody come together to do this music scene. Boston will really take off because we got some crazy talent in the city. Right. Like, people don't even know the type of talent we have in the city. We got some real serious talent in the city that need to be seen, but everybody just got to come together and help each other out. That's it. Right. What kind of um, what kind of ways could, like, artists get together? Like, what do you envision, like, is it a platform? Is it a space that they need? What, what is it? Just everything in general, you know, just recording, just doing music with each other, showing love to each other, you know what I'm saying? I feel like everybody just want that number one spot, you feel me? Right. There's space for everybody to be up top, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's enough money around to go right. around for everybody, <laughs> yeah. you feel me? There's not that number one spot. Everybody just need to come together and help each other out, support each other and all that. All right. Um, so you're doing... You're doing school, you're doing the music, uh, and you're also playing sports, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I play ball. Like, how are you like managing your time? Uh, when I'm not getting to the buckets, you feel me? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting to the money. <laughs> when I'm not getting to the money, I'm getting to the books. I just try to do all that, man, just stay out of trouble, you feel me? 
I was just trying to do all that. It's just to stay out of trouble, man. I play ball. I, I, I make this music. I stay in school, man. I'm just trying to make a life for myself, you feel me? I'm not trying to be regular. I'm not trying to live a regular life. So I'm just trying to do what I can, you know, just to survive. It's a cold world. Yeah, man. Uh, what's, I guess, what's uh, what kind of inspired you or motivated you to make sure that you are staying out of trouble? Like, Just, just like, street shit family shit you know what i'm saying i don't want to be like i don't know i don't want to i i didn't see a lot of things i just don't want to fall down that type of route fall down that path you feel me so yeah. i just be trying to stay out of trouble have you had like any mentors like growing up or yeah i had a couple mentors growing up i have older siblings and stuff like that oh okay how, how many siblings you got i got six sisters and like Damn. three brothers <laughs> <laughs> okay feel that's me? a that's a good yeah, that's my a, pops is out a here size family <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh yeah so uh what's what's uh what's it been like having like those older you said six older it's sisters been, it's been lit yeah. having a big family having a big household it's been cool you feel me yeah that's how I learned to be competitive okay having a big family and stuff like that yeah because you gotta <laughs> yeah you <laughs> everybody feel me? else is doing something the fittest you gotta be yeah. you gotta be ready yeah uh but but y'all all supporting each other yeah, we all support each other so, man um so what's um <laughs> I guess what kind of uh, funny family experience that you had that kind of is <laughs> Truthfully, life changing. Uh we just always fighting. We just always want yeah. want that, you know what I'm saying? Like usual family stuff. Like I got three brothers and six sisters, you feel me? So yeah. it's just busy. Yeah. It's always lit. It's always booming. Crib's right. always on ten, you feel me? Yeah. So it's just finding that space. I, I wouldn't say there's every day is like a funny experience, truthfully. So I wouldn't say there's like one spe specific right. moment, but like every day is a family moment. Every day is like fun on ten. Oh, that's dope. I just love coming from a big family. You feel me? That's yeah. how you learn how to deal with other people. I feel like right, you learn yeah. how to deal with your siblings. You learn how to deal with other people. Learn how to live with other people and stuff right. like that. I feel like that's good. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's, I was about to say like speaking of uh, speaking of that, mm -hmm. like. How do you like just I guess keep in contact and maintain those relationships? Like you you have so many siblings. Yeah, yeah. Like how do you do that? I, I feel like what's big for me is um, if I reach out to you, right. you gotta reach out to me. The fit, the right. the love gotta be mutual. You feel me? Right. Yeah, like yeah. if I feel like you're important to keep in my life, then I'm gonna reach out to you, and you're gonna do the same back to me. You feel me? Right. As I'm growing up, I'm learning that not every relationship is like a important relationship. You know what I mean? Like right. growing up with a big family, growing up having a lot of friends, you 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 have to like separate like what's real and what's fake you know what i'm saying so i'm i'm learning that now okay that's like a big thing all right what well, define what's real and what's fake like you know if you got a real friend if you got a fake friend someone who's gonna check up on you right. your fake friend not gonna check up on you until they see you booming on ig right then they want to hit you with a phone call like yeah i see you doing your thing right feel me they're just sticking by you just in case we don't right. need that type of energy and love you right know what I'm saying? yeah yeah so um i guess who not who but like how many people have you had to cut off recently? Like, uh, how many fake friends have you identified? It is not even like a cut off thing. Right. I would say like we just can't be hanging out like oh, we okay. used to. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. So you ain't cut off. We still cool. I might see you around, say right. what's good and all that. Right. But hey, you feel me? We ain't like right. Cause like I'm focused right now. You feel me? Yeah. If you ain't if you ain't with me on the same page, helping me get to this goal, right. then you're just a waste of time and energy. I don't need that around me. Okay. Yeah. What um. Like, where did you get this focus from? Like, like how did it start? Just getting locked into this music. Yeah. As I feel like as you're getting into the music and as, like, things start to pick up increasingly, you start to focus on, all right, what do I got to do to, like, you right. feel me, for the next step? So it's like, yo, people who are around me not helping me get to this next step, you got you to get cut off. You're a waste of time. Time's the most important thing in the world. Right. Like, more important than money. Yeah. So it's like, if you're wasting my time, you're really wasting my money as well. So right. it's like... It's the focus. As you start, as you start doing more things, you start getting a crazy focus. Like right. I gotta stay head forward. What um what? How did you start doing music? Like was it to start off as a hobby or? It, I mean, at first it started as a hobby. When I was like, I would say I was twelve. I started just like, uh, that's when like the Max right. first came out. My sister had a Mac. I used to steal her laptop. I started making right. beats on the Mac, and they were trash, truthfully. Right. They were weak as hell, but yeah. I just knew I always had this, like, passion for music. Right. But I didn't start really doing music until, like, a year and a half ago, like, oh. start putting out music. Yeah. Until, like, a year and a half ago, so. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, how that's I started. Yeah. yeah. 
I always knew I was into music though, because I always loved listening to music. I grew up in a household full like people who love music. Like right. my mom used to bump the Haitian music, and then my older siblings right. used to bump like reggae music. So right. I was listening to everything growing up. That's dope. So that's how, pretty much how my sound came about, just from listening to everything. Right. Yeah. That's that's good that you have a well-rounded sound. Yeah. Most definitely shows in the music. Yeah. Um, what other like I guess influence have you had in terms of your music and like how how you go about producing and writing your own music? I would say other influences is like I don't know people in the industry, people that I listen to and stuff like that had the biggest influence on my music and like what I go through in life. Yeah, that has a big influence on my music and what like my older siblings will go through in life that has a big influence on my music because I don't only make music for myself. I make music for people that go through similar situations. Like my friends who go through a situation, I might make a song that relates to them. You feel me? Right. Because not everybody could explain how they feel, but if yeah. I could listen to your story, I could explain how you feel for you. That's dope, man. That's yeah. uh. Because, like, a lot of times, like, people don't have the opportunity to be able to share it. Mm -hmm. But, like, as you said, if you are someone that listens to it and you go out and share somebody else's story, I think, it, you know, it brings attention to yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, most definitely. Fact. Um, what kind of um, – how – let me think of the question. So <laughs> <laughs> um So what have you done so far that has been your like, biggest accomplishment? My biggest accomplishment? Sheesh. I don't know. I feel like dropping this music is a big accomplishment because it's not easy to really drop music with content. People just be dropping bullshit. Right. You feel me? But yeah. I feel like I keep my head in straight okay. and I focus. I keep stay down. And like make content like at a good speed and a good right. pace. So I'll say that's my accomplishment: making great music okay. and great having great content. That's that's a big accomplishment. You know, doing yeah. all these shows is a big accomplishment. Because I remember when I met you, right? Yeah, I did my very that was my second show I ever did in my life. Right, like my yeah. second show, and then like from that point on to now, right. I think I've done over like thirty plus shows. Right, you know what I'm saying? So like that's a huge accomplishment that people actually want to see me come perform at their school or come perform at their event. That's a big accomplishment. Right. Yeah, that's uh, and then uh, what we were talking earlier about how like you you have really good uh, charisma in terms of performance and yeah, performing. That. Like, how do you like what? Do you, how do you learn how to be an MC and you know rocking the crowd? It's just it's just you either have it or you don't. You know what I mean? That's just yeah. how I am. I just want to entertain people and make them feel what I'm feeling inside okay. and try to give off that energy. You know what I'm saying? All right. Do you that's think anybody could learn it? Like, learn how to, you know, yeah, I mean, you be able can to learn do that. it, but I feel like it's something you're born with, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, yeah. that energy and yeah. that focus, I feel like that's something that you're born with. You can learn it, right. but if you're not going through anything in life, you don't, you're not working for nothing, you feel me? I feel right. like every time I get on that stage, it's for a reason, you know what I'm saying? Right. I got to make my life better, so I'm just going to give you all the energy that I can so you can feel it like, yo, right. who is this guy, you feel me? I want I want to keep him around. I want to keep listening to his music. I want to keep his energy around me, you know what I'm saying? Right. What's um, What's, like, been the... I guess best show that you had so, so far. The best uh, show that I've had. Like you had any crazy like people in the crowd. Like yeah, yeah. My my shows usually I have like a, a like a like a great fan fan base. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a lot of people come support me at my shows. But I say the craziest show I did. I don't know. It's between it's. I would say it's the one at my school. Definitely that was the biggest show, you feel me? Because they yeah. showed me so much love at my school, you feel me? Yeah. So when I went over there to go do my show, you feel me? I right. got crazy love over there. That's so dope, man. That was smooth. Um, so what's what's the best advice that you've received so far uh, in terms of your career? I mean, I, I, would, I wouldn't say I got the best advice, but the advice that I keep getting is to keep going. Okay. Like, literally, everybody I talk to right. who's, like, a little high above me just say, yo, I see something and you keep going, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm going to keep doing. Okay. I'm going to keep going hard, keep going strong. They're going to notice soon. That's dope. We're going to play this. We're going to play this back right. <laughs> in a, yeah, couple, yeah. a couple months, a couple years. Right. We're going to play this back and be like, yeah, yeah, he was right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you got to. Was definitely look back on our past accomplishments yeah, and see yeah, where we've grown so far. Exactly. Uh, what kind of growth do you envision yourself? Uh, what kind of growth do you see in the future for yourself? I mean, you could always grow. There's always room to grow. I say the biggest growth I want to see for myself is um, 
I don't know, I don't know, man. <laughs> I feel like I, 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 you know, when you feel like you're working hard already, so it's like, yeah. what else you got? I just, I don't know. Keep making more connections. Keep, keep reaching, like, keep connecting with people. Keep changing okay. lives. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, at a like a specific type of level. You know what I'm saying? Like, not right. just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make music. Like, right. a purpose. I would say that's the growth I want to have. Okay. Like, more of a understanding my purpose. Like, what's uh? Do you have you have like a more focused purpose now of what you want to do or is it always changing? It, it changes. Okay. It changes. Your purpose could be one thing for a couple of months or right. a day or a couple of hours or it could be a purpose for like a year, I would say. Okay. Right now my purpose is to just like keep making great music and changing lives in a positive manner, you feel me? Right, yeah. Um, has anybody like come up to you that said, that's like that's had a meaningful connection with you? Yeah. Like, ha, definitely. Like what kind of experience I had, have you had? I had, a, I had a person who reached out to me in the DMs and said, like, yo, right. this song saved my life. Okay. Like, specific, like, no cap. Like, wow. That ass, like, yo, this song just saved my life. And that meant a lot to me. The, after that, I was like, all right, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Right, yeah, This yeah. is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Shit, man. And one person, that's all it took for me. Yeah. One person. That, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that that kind of sparks that sparked you. Yeah, you, know, to keep, you hear a lot about those stories. Like, yeah. oh, this person said that, like, dead ass. Like, right, yeah. Somebody hit me in DM, like, yo, this song saved my life, bro. That's dope, man. That's dope. Mm -hmm. Um, what? So what? What else is like a goal of yours as an artist? Um, a goal of mine is to be up there. You know what I'm saying? To be a superstar. Like, okay past all the great artists that you have now right. just to go down as a legend. Right. It's not even just to make it in the industry. Right. Goal is to just be past that like icon, like right. out like fifty, fifty something years from now, I want y'all to be right. talking about Chess Coppo and the influence that he had in the in the world. Do you see yourself being in other mediums of art besides, you know, just you know Besides music? Being, besides music, yeah. I think I could uh, I don't know. Not right now. Right now, I'm just focused okay. on music. But right, I think yeah. I could definitely do other stuff. You right. feel me? Yeah. I don't, I don't want to take your focus away right, from that. Right. But I don't know if you've like ever thought of a, thought of it or any like acne or something like that. Yeah, something like I, I that. I feel like right. I could do that. Or even like producing. Produce or, definitely, definitely produce. No. I'd be co-producing some yeah. of my music too okay. with my boy Blaze and Mac. So yeah. So do you still make? Because you said you make uh you made beats when you were 12 years old. Yeah, I was. Do you, I was. Do you still I was making, making beats, beats right now. I, I, I'm I'm not that nice with it. Oh, okay, I yeah, I wasn't yeah. nice with it at all. But I like I have the idea. I'm just not nice mechanically. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Like with the the database and everything, oh, pressing yeah. this button. I'm not yeah, nice like with that. But stuff, like, yeah. like the ideas and the melodies and the sense of how I want something to sound. I'm okay. definitely go with that. Like. Right, so you, you just got the basis of yeah. what you want to hear. Okay, all right, that's good, yeah. Um, what else, I guess, what else is in the works for Chiz? Um, right now I'm working on a project. Um, I don't want to give the title away yet, but I'm working on a project. It's supposed to drop the end of June, beginning of July. Yeah. And I'm going to drop two singles this not this week, but this before May ends. Right. Expect two singles right. for me, just to start off the summertime. Those, these two singles are not even gonna be on the project. These are just two singles that I'm just gonna drop, okay. and then I got the project coming end of June, beginning of July. I don't know yet exactly what the exact date is. I got so many visuals coming up. Right. So many visuals coming up for you guys. What um, what kind of advice would you give an artist that is new and want and wants to be like a breakthrough artist? Oh. I would just tell them you gotta start somewhere. Like okay. a lot of these new artists, they're like, "Yeah, I don't want to drop this song because I don't know." They expect their song to get like a hundred thousand views, ten thousand views the first time they drop it. Like nobody know who you are. You right. gotta start somewhere. Yeah. I started somewhere. Yeah. Well, I remember when I first started my SoundCloud account, I had like <laughs> eighteen followers, like right. fifty followers and stuff like that. It's like you gotta start somewhere. Yeah. Like no one, no one just woke up and they became like ten thousand, hundred thousand. Like it don't work like that. They see all these like young sensations breaking through the next day and they expect their their journey to be just like that right. journeys are not meant to be a b c right if that was the way then that wouldn't it wouldn't be worth fighting for you know what i'm saying yeah absolutely absolutely mm -hmm. what kind of uh values do you have that you utilize on a daily basis just loyalty and staying true to yourself never change up for nobody or what you see around in the media or what you see around in the streets and none of that just stay who you are and okay. stay in your lane that's like the number one thing is to stay in your lane do you ever find yourself straying from loyalty 
Never. No. Never. Okay. All right. Loyalty uh, is the biggest thing to me. You know what I'm saying? How do you how do you make sure that you are demonstrating and practicing loyalty? Just staying true to your 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 people. You feel me? If you got a group of people that you're around, just stay loyal to them. Right. You feel me? Stay on the same page. Okay. So it's uh. It kind of reaches into like communication. Yeah, communication, all that. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. You gotta know who your homies are. Absolutely. So, um, yeah, thank you uh, for doing that. Yo, interview. I appreciate you for coming yeah, out here from yeah. Akron yeah. doing this with me, man. I appreciate That's it. I appreciate it. Hey, y'all go watch the Jam Company. They're doing a great thing right now. Thank you, sir. All right. Well, you, you have any shout outs? Yeah, shout yeah, out to shout that. out to all my people who helped me, man. <laughs> shout out to shout out to my producer Blade. Shout out to producer Mac, man. Shout out to producer Geek. Hey, I wouldn't be able to do this without y'all, man. Shout out to my my homies, the old squad, man. Shout out to everybody. And where can people find your music? Oh, everywhere. Tidal, iTunes, SoundCloud, Spotify, iHeartRadio. You can Shazam me. Everything. YouTube. My music's everywhere. I just dropped. Pressure, pressure's out. Pressure's doing some numbers right now. Um, I just dropped two other singles, Artella and Demons. Those are out right now too, everywhere. So y'all go check me out. There's more to come too. Y'all gonna remember my name. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you, sir. No problem. Thank you. It's Chiz Cobb. I want y'all to keep jamming. You heard? <laughs>